Good afternoon, Wilson Camp. My name is Mahira. Let's start the warm-up session. How do you deal with someone who isn't satisfied with your patient care? When faced with a dissatisfied patient, I assess the issue, determine if it's something within my control to correct, address their concerns, answer their questions, and collaborate with colleagues for alternative solutions if necessary. My goal is to accommodate the patient without compromising their care. Tell me what you feel your greatest skill as a nurse is. My greatest skill as a nurse is my communication ability. I'm very proud of my ability to listen to what a patient is telling me. Nothing frustrates them more than feeling as though they're not being heard and actively listening can help make someone comfortable. In addition, I learned that addressing their concerns and communicating assuredly make them feel comfortable, which is important to receiving quality care. What do you find is the hardest part about being a nurse? I think the hardest thing I've had to deal with is feeling helpless. While it's my job to provide as much care and comfort as medically possible, there are times when I just can't do more. Seeing someone in pain or feeling miserable and knowing there's nothing you can do to help is the most difficult thing I deal with. I am a nurse because I genuinely care about people and want to help, and when I can't, that's hard. How do you handle the stress of the job? To handle the stress of the job, I prioritize self-care and seek support from colleagues and loved ones. I maintain a healthy work-life balance by scheduling regular breaks, engaging in activities I enjoy outside of work, and practicing stress relief techniques such as mindfulness or exercise. Additionally, I make sure to communicate openly with my colleagues about any challenges I'm facing and seek their advice and support when needed. Taking time to decompress and recharge allows me to approach my work with renewed energy and focus, ultimately ensuring that I can continue to provide the best possible care to my patients. Are you comfortable working with other doctors and nurses? I find I work well under a variety of conditions and circumstances, and I take pride in my flexibility. I enjoy working in a team because I often find that different viewpoints can help me find solutions to a problem I might not think of on my own. I also enjoy self-motivating and am equally comfortable working alone.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Good afternoon, Mihira. How are you holding up? How is Aaron feeling now after his meringotomy? Good afternoon, nurse. Aaron seems a bit tired and upset. I'm quite worried about how he'll manage once we get home. I understand your concerns, and it's completely normal to feel this way. Let's go over everything to ensure Aaron's smooth recovery. Firstly, how is Aaron feeling in terms of pain or discomfort right now? He's complaining of ear pain and seems quite irritable. He's also experiencing some dizziness. There hasn't been any discharge from the ear yet. I'm so sorry to hear that Aaron is experiencing pain and dizziness, Mihira. It can be really tough to see our little ones uncomfortable. It's quite common for children to have mild ear pain and some dizziness after a meringotomy. These symptoms usually improve over the next few days. Some drainage from the ear can also occur, which is normal. Temporary hearing loss might also happen as his ear heals. However, if you notice any of the following signs, please seek medical attention immediately. Increased pain that doesn't improve with the prescribed pain medication, fever, which could indicate an infection, severe pus, or bleeding from the ear. These could be signs of an infection that needs to be treated promptly. In the meantime, try to keep Aaron comfortable and ensure he gets plenty of rest. Keep a close eye on his symptoms, and if anything worries you, don't hesitate to reach out to us or his doctor. We're here to support you through this. That's good to know. I'll watch out for these symptoms. What about the care for his ear? Absolutely, Mihira. Postoperative care is crucial for Aaron's smooth recovery. First and foremost, it's important to keep his ear dry. When bathing him, be very careful to avoid getting any water in his ear. You might want to use earplugs or a shower cap to protect his ear from water. This helps prevent any potential infection that could occur if water enters the ear. Additionally, please ensure that Aaron takes his prescribed medication exactly as directed. This medication is essential in preventing infection and promoting the healing process. It will help reduce any inflammation and pain he might be feeling, making him more comfortable during his recovery. Keeping his ear dry and administering his medication as prescribed are the two key aspects of his postoperative care. By diligently following these instructions, you'll be helping Aaron recover more quickly and comfortably. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss or any other concerns you have? I'm here to help. Sure, I'll take extra care on these matters. Are there any restrictions on his dietary pattern? I'm glad to hear that, Mihira. Regarding Aaron's diet, for the first 48 hours, it's best to avoid solid food and milk products. Start with small sips of water or ice chips frequently to keep him hydrated. You can also offer him some juice, but be sure it's not too cold or too hot. After the initial 48 hours, you can slowly introduce soft foods into his diet. Some good options include yogurt, mashed potatoes, scrambled eggs, etc. These foods are gentle on his system and easy to swallow. It's important to keep him comfortable and well hydrated during this time. If you notice any changes in his appetite, or if he has difficulty eating, let us know right away. That sounds manageable. Is there anything else I should avoid doing with Aaron? I'm glad to hear that, Mihira. Yes, there are a few things to avoid to ensure Aaron's smooth recovery. It's important to keep him away from any vigorous activities that might jostle his ear, such as running, jumping, or playing sports. These activities could disrupt the healing process. Also, be very cautious when it comes to bathing. It's best to avoid letting Aaron take baths where his ear could get submerged in water. Opt for gentle sponge baths instead, ensuring his ear stays dry. Additionally, avoid letting him swim or participate in any water-related activities until his doctor gives the all-clear. Keeping his ear dry is key to preventing infection and promoting proper healing. Are there any other concerns you have or specific questions about what he should or shouldn't do during his recovery? I'll be careful to keep him away from those activities. However, I'm worried about how this will affect his daily routine. He won't be able to shower independently until he's fully recovered, and I'm concerned about missing school. I understand your concerns, Mihira. It's perfectly natural to worry about how this will impact Aaron's daily routine. 
While it may be a bit challenging at first, the most important thing is to give his ears the time they need to heal properly. For bathing, you can help him with sponge baths or assist him in the shower to ensure his ear stays dry. Using earplugs or a shower cap can provide extra protection. Once his doctor gives the go-ahead, he can gradually return to his usual bathing routine. Regarding school, it's best to let Aaron rest at home for a few days until he feels more comfortable. His health and recovery are the top priorities right now. You can communicate with his teacher about his situation. Many schools are accommodating and can provide assignments for him to do at home, ensuring he doesn't fall behind. Remember, this is just a temporary phase. By taking these precautions now, you're helping Aaron recover more quickly and preventing any complications. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to support you and Aaron every step of the way. I wish Aaron a speedy recovery. Thank you, nurse.